This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys. Uh, so I'll ask you, ask you one interesting question. So do you know? Uh, so I have put uh, several several names here, as you can see. So Sefevitz, Albania, Atropaten, Akoyun, and Aram. Yes. So what do you think? Uh, which one is uh, more suitable? to Azerbaijani name. Uh, what do you think, which one of them, from which one of them Azerbaijani name is derived from, originated? Do you know? Uh, can I guess? Yes. Uh, is it Atra Patano? Patano. Do you, why do you think? Do you have information about that or just a logical approach? Just like a logical approach. Uh, okay, why it's, why do you think it's originated from Atropaten? Uh, I I kind of guessed. Ah, okay. So actually, what what about Can you? I... I... Uh, yeah. It's Albania. Albania. Oh, okay. Different views. Okay. So let's ask the same question to Malaj as well. Malaj, Malaj is already here. So hello, Malaj. Hello, Malaj. How are you? Hello. Hello. I'm so, uh, perfect. So, Malaj, we are talking about uh, the origin of Azerbaijan name. The name of Azerbaijan is derived from one of these names, but we are trying to determine which one. What do you think? Which one is much more suitable to Azerbaijan name? Azerbaijan name of Azerbaijan. I couldn't hear you. I think it's lagging. I couldn't hear you. Don't you. hear me. You can't hear me. Okay, wait. No, I do. It. I can hear you, but it. My thing keeps lagging. Ah, okay. I'll fix my problem. Please. Okay, Manish, what about now? Do you hear me properly? Manish, do you hear me? Yes. Okay, so what's your opinion? So which one is more suitable to Azerbaijan, uh, name of Azerbaijan? Albania, Sefevis, Atropaten, Albania, or uh, uh, Akoyunlu? Albania. Oh, okay, Albania. Okay, different views. So, but uh, actually, it's not. Uh, Jali, you are right. Actually, the name of Azerbaijan is derived from Atropaten. So, scientists usually connect the origin of Azerbaijan, name of Azerbaijan, with the name of Atropaten. Why? I'll explain it. But before, let's talk about Atropaten. And the, the scientists believe the name of Azerbaijan takes origin from the different form of Atropaten. Over the years, the word of Atropaten changed its form and became the word of Azerbaijan. But which forms? For example, first of all, it was Atropaten, then it became Aturbadagan, then Atropatakan, then Atropatakan. So over the years, it changed the forms, yes. So became the Azerbaijan after the seventh century. Uh, so the Azerbaijan name is mentioned in historical sources as Azerbaijan after the Arabian occupation of Azerbaijan territories. But before it was Atropat, Adurbatakan, Atropatakan. Okay, do you understand me? Yes. Yep. Can I? Okay. Can what? I rejoin? Yes, of course, Manage. Can I Can. rejoin? Yes, yeah. yes, it's possible. Okay, the, another view is that 
Azerbaijan name is derived from two words. Azer, Azer means fire and Bajan is a land, a land of fire. Is that clear? So uh, it's it's related to Zoroastrianism religion. Do you have information about Zoroastrianism, Jamil? Oh, sorry. What is Zoroastrianism, Jalil? Sorry. Uh, what religion? Zoroastrianism. I don't know that religion. Oh, okay. So it was one of the monotheistic religion. So actually, uh, the people were people were believing Zoroastrianism religion in the southern part of Azerbaijan. Okay. So uh, do you know what was important in this religion? So fire. People worship to fire. So fire Sun. was a most. Yeah. What? Sun. Sun? Not sun, let's say fire, because uh, so you know we we have holiday in Obruz, yes. Usually people jump over the bonfire, so it's also related to Zoroastrianism because Zoroastrianism religion and uh, was a dominant religion in the southern part of Azerbaijan before uh, before. Uh, for example, after Manna Kingdoms, Man, do you remember Manna's Kingdom, Man, Manna Kingdom? So after the yeah. collapse of Manna Kingdom, so uh, the, the Zoroastrianism religion spread in Azerbaijan territories in the southern part of Azerbaijan. So uh, this is another view, land of fire, okay? But, but who was Atropat? My question is that who was Atropat? Uh, so we remember uh, Atro, sorry money kingdom yes uh, it was actually uh, the money kingdom break broke down uh, as a result of median occupation persian occupation of azerbaijan territories uh, at the beginning of 6th century bc and uh, then azerbaijan remained without the independent kingdom approximately more than 200 years look uh, Manna Kingdom collapsed uh, 590 BC, yes. Do you remember that? 590 BC, yes. And Azerbaijan remained without the independent kingdom approximately more than 100, 200 years. Uh, so one, one empire replaced another empire. For example, Achaemenid Empire occupied Azerbaijan territories. Then uh, Alexander Great, Alexander the Great, Emperor of Macedonia occupied the Azerbaijan territories. Yes, but after the death of Macedonia, Alexander the Great, Macedonian Emperor, and Azerbaijan again, the independent kingdoms appeared in Azerbaijan in, in the fourth century AD. Look at chat, please. I'm writing something. And a century, century BC. Okay. Do you have information about Alexander the Great? Alexander the Great. Yes, a little bit. Ah, okay, can you please give me brief information about him? So he was the emperor of Macedonia, yes. And he almost occupied the majority of the world territories. And he established a great empire. empire. Even Azerbaijan territories were included to Macedonia's, uh, Macedonian empire. Am I right, Jerry? Yeah. So, but after the death or death of the Macedon, Macedon, uh, so sorry, the Alexander the Great, the Emperor of Macedonia, Azerbaijan again became the independent. So, one of the independent kingdom appeared in Azerbaijan was Atropatena. Yeah, Atro, Atro, sorry, Atropaten. Okay. I can't. Did you understand? One of the independent kingdom appeared in Azerbaijan after the death of Alexander the Great was uh, uh, so Atropaten. So Azerbaijan name is actually derived from the name of Atropaten. But who was Atropat? What do you think? Why this kingdom was called Atropaten kingdom? Mm -hmm, I can. What, why do you think this? It was called Atropaten Kingdom. Mm -hmm. What? Sorry. You didn't understand. My my question. 
Yeah, so uh, I told you, I told you Azerbaijan became independent and uh, uh, independent Atropatan kingdom was founded in Azerbaijan, yes, in 4th century BC. Why this kingdom do you think was called Atropatan? Is it because the ruler was called Atropatan? Yes, you are right. The first ruler of this found founder of this kingdom was Atropat. Okay, so that's the reason his name was given to the name to to the state. Okay, so that's why uh, this is not the first case. Uh, you can either give the name of the founder to the state uh, or uh, geographical territories named to the state. For example, Iran is not the the name on the name of any person or, or it's the name of geographical region so it was called iran that's the reason it was called iran or persia uh, or let's say um, for example uh, azerbaijan uh, mania kingdom yes do you remember what it was called Man mania kingdom manna kingdom man mania kingdom because it was the name of tribes living in Azerbaijan. Am I right? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Is that clear? So the founder of state was Atropatan, Atropad. That's the reason uh, his name was given to the state. State was called Atropatan. But over the years, so state's name changed and Azerbaijan was started to be called uh, uh, either Azerbaijan or Atropatakan. Then after the Arabian occupation of Azerbaijan in the 17th century, Azerbaijan name so started to be widely used as a name of Azerbaijan territories. Okay? Perfect. So, uh, uh, so Malik did not come. Did not come back. What? Why? I don't understand why. I am Malik. Okay. Internet problems. Connection problems. Maybe. So, uh, so I. I'll, I'll put the link of video. Can you please watch? And uh, we will have a discussion on that, okay? I have put in here, so in chat. Please take it. Can you mute you yourself while we're watching it? What? Can you mute yourself while we're watching it? Of course. Of course. I can please watch video and And Malach is in here.
uh, manage uh, I, are you watching video yes ah okay perfect I, I have put the link in chat please check I didn't get the link I got it I got it now ah okay watch it please Okay, have you finished? Aihan and Jalila, please, I think you have already finished, yes? Am I right? Yeah, yeah okay, finished. Okay, perfect. Okay, so, but the question is that, what do you think, in which territory, of, in which part of Azerbaijan, Atropatan state was founded? In the southern part of Azerbaijan or northern part of Azerbaijan? Is it so? Yes, you see what you see is that Atropatan, yes, Atropatan included the southern part of Azerbaijan. So, if you remember, uh, we didn't talk about any state in the northern part of Azerbaijan, yes, until the until the fourth century BC. So, after the Macedonians, the Mac after the uh, Alexander the Great says, so two states appeared in Azerbaijan. In the northern part of Azerbaijan, it was called Albania, yes. But in the southern part of Azerbaijan, it was called Atropatan. But interestingly, today's Azerbaijan names is not derived from the uh, Albania, but derived from the Atropatan, because the first states appeared in the southern part of Azerbaijan, not northern part. Historical Azerbaijan lands, unfortunately. What? What, what, what was what, the what? southern part called? What yes. was the southern part of Azerbaijan called? Atropaten. What was it called? How do you spell that? Atropaten. It's written here. Yeah, how do you Atropaten. how do you spell it? Okay. A T R O P A T K E N A. I'm writing a chat. Okay. Oh, sorry. Atropatin. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Azerbaijan's name is derived from Atropatin. So, did you understand video? Can you please tell me any interesting information from the video which you didn't discuss? Huh? Is it possible? Uh, well, well, for example, uh, the video is talking about uh, name of Azerbaijan is derived from two uh, claims by scientists. Yes, one of them was what? Azerbaijan name is derived from Atropat. Yes. What was the another one? Malach. 
Do you remember the another claim by oh, scientists? In the video. Yeah. The another version of Azerbaijan names derived from what? Do you remember Azerbaijan? So, um, Azerbaijan name. wouldn't. Huh? I didn't watch all of it. Okay, Jalil, what about you? What was the second claim by scientists? Azerbaijan name is derived from what? Is it a uh, fire? Uh, like yes. Azer is fire and uh, uh -huh. and land. Yes, fire and land. A land of fire. Usually, uh, have you? So, do you watch football? So, famous Spanish football club. Uh, so, um, Athletic Madrid. Yes, in the uniform, it was written the land of fire because Azerbaijan sponsored this football club. Yes, soccer. So soccer was actually sponsoring a uh, famous Spanish um, football club, Land of Fire. And in, on the uniform, it was written Land of Fire. Even today, we usually call Azerbaijan Land of Fire. Yes. Why do you think it's called Land of Fire? What's the logic because, behind it? Because they had the old religion and the, and the religion. Um, huh? Zoroastrianism? Yeah. Oh, it was fire. what marriage? Was it because they had a lot of war? No, it was because we already discussed. You was actually you were not here, so I told you uh, because Azerbaijani people believed in Zoroastrianism religion. Zoroastrianism religion was actually based fire. on worshiping to the fire. So, do you know that Novruz holiday, marriage, Novruz holiday? So for people, people will usually jump over the bonfire. Yes, Novruz oh, holiday. Yes. Novruz holiday is also related to Zoroastrianism religion. Actually, uh, Azerbaijanis, Azerbaijani people usually believed in Zoroastrianism in the southern part of Azerbaijan in the past. Zoroastrianism is one of the one of the first uh, monotheistic religion in Azerbaijan. Do you know what's the monotheistic religion? Like one, one God, yes. Believing one God, yes. yes. So, for example, Christianity and Islam is also one monotheistic religion, yes. So, but Zoroastrianism is the first one appeared in Azerbaijan, and people believe. Okay, that's all good. So, but another version was Azerbaijan names derived from Atropat. So, Atropat was the first ruler of Atropatian's kingdom, appeared in Azerbaijan in the fourth century after the death of uh, Emperor Alexander the Great. Azerbaijan became independent again. So, so the, another important part, so Atropatian Kingdom actually uh, was as a result of the emergence of Atropatian Kingdom in Azerbaijan. So we, uh, we, be, we actually uh, was able to uh, protect our lands from the foreign attacks. At least you have heard about the Roman Empire, yes? Do you have information about Roman army, Roman Empire? Roman, Roman Empire. Yes, isn't it the Babylonian Empire? Yes, yeah, so uh, it was founded in Italy, then they spread their influence over the different parts of the world, even they wanted to occupy Azerbaijan. So, but when the Roman Empire was at the peak of its uh, power, so uh, Azerbaijan territories also uh, was very attractive to the Romans. So they wanted to occupy Azerbaijan lands. But why? Because Atropaten uh, state, Atropaten kingdom was located very famous international trade roads. So. Azerbaijan was the created very strategic position. That's why Roman Empire wanted to occupy our lands. So, but Anthropatians actually uh, did not uh, actually prevented Roman army to occupy Azerbaijan, Anthropatians kingdoms territories. And so, for example, there is a famous battle, uh, Fraspa, Battle of Fraspa. Uh, so, military commander of Roman army, Antoni, and uh, 
36 BC, he attacked Azerbaijan with approximately uh, to, uh, approximately 100,000 men or so and the soldiers attacked Azerbaijan and wanted to invade Atropatan, Atropatan territories. However, Azerbaijanis, Atropatan, Atropatans resisted and uh, did not give them a chance to occupy Azerbaijan. This is famous Battle of Fraspa, okay? So as a result, army, the Roman army retreat from Azerbaijan territories and uh, so can you imagine little Azerbaijan kingdom and uh, defeated the huge Roman army? Was it possible? Why do you think usually, for example, we also discussed Tomris, yes. Tomris defeated the powerful uh, Achaemenid Empire. Little Azerbaijani kingdom Atropaten defeated huge Roman army. What's the logic, guys, behind uh, so Azerbaijan's uh, stubborn resistance to occupiers? What do you think? Why usually we, uh, let's say, draw, draw out uh, the, our enemies from our territories? Was it related to what? Malet, what do you think? Why usually we defeated enemies? So even so. Because we had a good. Um... We had good army. Do you think it was related to good army? But I don't think because uh, so it wasn't possible to defeat huge Roman army. Uh, Is it because we got animals? Animals. What? Is so it because what they used um, um, they were like very smart and they um, they used strategies. Maybe strategy, army, the good points, but I think so. Uh, it was related to something else, but I don't know why. So even I don't know the answer of my question. Why Azerbaijanis, for example, defeated huge Roman army? So what was the logic behind that? Maybe we protected our home, uh, hometown. So sorry, uh, our uh, home country. Yes. Uh, they, 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 we had uh, actually, mm, so we, we just protecting our uh, own identity, let's say, mm, we just protecting our uh, home country, that's, that's the reason we resisted against the occupiers, so they couldn't achieve that. So on the other hand, maybe we were, uh, Azerbaijanis were brave, they even sacrificed their life for the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. And I'm not sure why. So, but it's an interesting question. For example, how Tombris achieved Tombris achieved to protect uh, his ho home country from the Achaemenid Empire? How Atropatene achieved that? Uh, okay. But the the fact is that actually yes, Atropatene defeated a huge Roman army. Anton Antony, the military commander of Roman army, retreated from the Azerbaijan. And uh, so, uh, so for example, Antony occupied another territories, but not Azerbaijan. If I'm not mistaken, he he also occupied, uh, for example, Georgia, then other territories, but Azerbaijan, Atropatene resisted against them. For uh, against them, okay. The famous battle is called Fraspa. Keep in your mind, maybe uh, when, when you will learn about the Roman history, history of Roman Empire. So keep at least you, you should know that Azerbaijan was one of the territories actually resisted Roman army. Uh, however, actually, Roman army occupied the majority of uh, territories of Asia, Europe. So it was huge empire. Uh, e even Egypt. So that's all. Okay, so uh, so three reasons uh, why, uh, what was the significance of the establishment of Astropatan Kingdom in Azerbaijan. First of all, it was the restoration of independent state with traditions of Azerbaijan. Secondly, uh, so after the collapse of Manian Kingdom, uh, Azerbaijan actually restores independence. So. The independent kingdom appeared in Azerbaijan. Uh, 
uh, with the Atropatan kingdom. Then, uh, because of having independent stake, it became possible to protect our lands from foreign attacks as a prosper battle, yes. Because when you have an independent state, so you have army, so so you have uh, you have army as well as it's possible that pe to uh, call, so for example, people to join army and to protect their homelands. That's all. Okay, let's do please together to understand topic very well. I'll share my screen with you. So you are required to do quiz. Uh, let me share my screen. But if you don't understand, we do, we'll do quote together, okay? No worries. Do you see my screen properly? It's sluggy. No, I see Okay, that. what about now? Okay, let me to turn off my camera. Today, there is some connection problems I see as far as I see. So what about now? Do you see? Yes. Yeah, but it's okay. Not... I... No, it's not. It's not? It's no more. Oh. It's lucky. Oh. But I can still see. Uh, okay, so so please fill in the blanks. And uh, there are some um, questions from our previous lessons, okay? Please skip them, okay? Uh, if you know, you can. If you, if you don't remember, I'll help you. We will remember all of them again. So please do especially focus on the questions we discussed today. For scientists connect the origin of the name of Zerojum with the name of what, okay? So you see there is a box here. So choose the appropriate options for the blanks. Okay, please start. Should we write in the chat? Yes, you can. Actually, you can write in chat as well. Should we skip number two? Yes. If it is not related to our today's discussion, please skip it, okay? And the second one, or was that today's? Second one? I mean the third one. I mean the third today's one. topic. This is today's topic. And now the view is that since the word other means what? You can find the appropriate word in books, in the books. I I actually sent it when I'm not done. So, uh, so if you want, you can uh, send your answer to my private chat, okay? To my private, yeah. Is number three our topic? What, Melech? Is number three um, today's topic? No, no, it's the topic of uh, the first human settlements in Azerbaijan, ancient times. Oh, okay. Keep it.
I, I don't understand four. Four. So, so can I press the resume? Uh, who, was the, who was the who was the who was the governor of the Achaemenid province of Media? Media. So I didn't talk about that. So Atropat, Atropat, before uh, before founding founding the state, Atropat in kingdom, he was one of the governor of uh, so the Achaemenid Empire. Do you understand me? He was ruling one of the territory of Azerbaijan under the control of Achaemenid Empire. He was not independent yet. Okay. Do you understand me? Yep. He was ruling the southern part of Azerbaijan as a uh, subordinate subordinate uh, governor okay so he was not independent yet but after the death of alexander the great he founded the independent state atropat i'm talking about atropat so is atropat yes yeah, answer is atropat yes okay. first ruler of atropat why do we write what Shash. knowledge? On number six, where do we write? There's no like spots to write. We do number six. Yes. In chat. Actually, I wanted to put some questions related to our previous topic. Uh to remember them, okay? Where's like where do we write? There's like no line. Just write over. Yeah, I mean there's yeah, 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 I happen to write somewhere in chat and chat. As the cave is located in Kojima, it has been under Armenian occupation. So, so, oh, skip this question, please. It's not correct. Uh, I have to put the, uh, so blank here, but I think as I have, I have been doing something wrong in the question. Yes. The answer is, uh, say, so uh, the Khojavan should be the blank because I, I was, actually I intended to ask you where was it located actually. So, but I made some mistake here. Uh, so, uh -huh. Can we write on the six, on number six? Skip it, please. Wrong. Where do we write on oh. six? Hello, don't write no, anything. Don't write it. Don't write it. Mm, okay. So if you have no, you haven't finished yet. So pick the drawings, we understand. And please keep the question number seven as well. If you know, okay, it's okay, but it's not related to our today's topic. On number seven, would it be astrobots? You don't do it. Mm. In the pictures drawn, the Gobstan rocks, the tradition and souls of the ancestors of uh, are depicted. So, and traditions, beliefs, and souls of Azerbaijanis were actually uh, what uh, are depicted in Gobstan rocks. So, would the answer be? As Traditions, beliefs. No, answer is question number seven. So ancestors yeah. believe and traditions of and souls of Azerbaijanis. Traditions. The answer should be traditions and beliefs. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the first question. Uh, the scientists connect the origin of the name of Azerbaijan with the name of what? Land of fire? No. Uh, the connect Azerbaijan with the name of what? No, no, no. This is the first. The no, land of fire is the second. So argument actually. Oh, yes. It's, I mean, but the yeah. first argument is that Azerbaijan name is derived from what? Name of Aihan? The Atropat. Atropat, yes. Atropatan, yes. This is the 
this is the second independent state in the southern part of Azerbaijan after the call of Manian Kingdom, yes. So, uh, Jalil, another view is that since the word of Azer means what? Land, uh, uh, fire and the uh -huh. land of fire. Yeah. Jalil, Azer uh, is actually, uh, so it comes from the Persian language. Azer means uh, fire, yes, you are right. Mm, the names means the land of fire related to the Zoroastrianism, yes, the famous religion appeared in Azerbaijan before uh, our before before our times, yeah, let's say it, before our era. So Keva discovered the archaeological expedition of Azerbaijan National Academy of Science under the leadership of Mehmed Hussainov. So the, the should, the, it should be skipped actually. So question number four. Who was the governor of the Achaemenid Empire province of Media? Melech. Number five. Four. Four. Oh. I didn't see. Atropat. I saw, yeah, yeah, I put that. Yeah. Atropat. I was, it. No, you was didn't. not yet independent. No, what? I can't. Question number five. Five? Yes, you are right. Actually, I got your answer in my private chat, but so your answer is correct. Alexander the Great, yes. Following the death of Alexander the Great, Atrobat uh, declared himself independent ruler and founded the famous Azerbaijan kingdom, which was called Atrobatian kingdom, yes. Yes. And dynasty was named after him. So, as a cave, question number six should be skipped as well because uh, okay. this is uh, the uh, So, but I, it would be better to remember our previous lessons as well. Uh, so, question number seven, Jalil. In the, no, no, no. Question number eight. Eight. Number eight. Uh, was it the Roman army? Yes, Roman army, yes, you are right. So, the state of tradition of Azerbaijan was restored long after the collab or collapse of what? When which kingdom? So, Atropatem was the uh, successor of which Azerbaijani kingdom? Full successor of which Azerbaijani kingdom? Question number nine, Melech. So, nine what do you think? Is, uh... So, Atropatem. I didn't do number nine, but I did number ten. No, listen. State with traditions of Azerbaijan was restored long after the collapse of what? Atropatem Kingdom, kingdom was. Manian Kingdom. Manian Manian Manian. Kingdom. Oh, yes. So, because it was a second state in the southern part of Azerbaijan, it was a restoration of Azerbaijan state with traditions. Okay, because Manna collapsed. Then Azerbaijan was occupied by Achaemenids and Alexander the Great. Then Azerbaijan became independent as a result of efforts of uh, Atropath. So he declared himself independent ruler and founded the new kingdom, which was the successor of successor of uh, the famous Manian kingdom, the first kingdom in Azerbaijan. Yes, and that's all. Then over the time, the word of Atropaten changed its form and became the word of what? Azerbaijan, yes. Azerbaijan. Yeah, yeah. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. So land if land of fights our translation actually. Uh, Azerbaijan. So okay, did you understand topic? Yes. yes. So what is the importance of Atropatian Kingdom in Azerbaijan history? I mentioned three points why Atropatian Kingdom the crucial role in the history of Azerbaijan. First of all, uh, it was a restoration of Azerbaijan state with traditions after the collapse of Manian Kingdom. Yes. Second one. Uh, so after the formation of Atropatan Kingdom, it paved the way for the formation of Azerbaijani people. Uh, and of, of course, it, it became possible to protect our lands from the foreign attacks especially the Roman army, yes. So we usually uh, feel proud when we talk about the 
how Azerbaijan Atropatian Kingdom defeat the huge Roman army. Yes, even in Azerbaijan, where I'm talking about this part of history. So, and uh, my students are really surprised to hear how we defeated huge army, Roman army, Atropatian. So, I don't know exactly why, maybe good strategy, maybe good army, but I don't think that good army would be enough to defeat a huge Roman army. Okay, maybe there was another thing. So, do you know, so in the historical source, it's mentioned that even women in Azerbaijan, uh, women, women actually, they actually they were fighting against, they were fighting against the Roman army. Maybe that's the reason. So, so when our territory was occupied by the enemy, so we came together and uh, uh, all the people, uh, so. Uh, you, you united and so and then understood that if the Roman army occupied Azerbaijan territory it would be disaster to us so rather than living instead of living under the occupation of someone else it would be better to sacrifice your life to protect your family yes it was the sense of uh, sense of uh, let's say uh, uh, survival let's say how can I explain that? Survival instinct, yes. It was important for us to be to be survived. And that's all. Okay. Do you have any question related to our topic? I do. You don't have? I do. So yes. So women were allowed to fight in Azerbaijan. A lot of what? I uh, sorry, women. I cannot hear you properly sorry. today. Were women allowed to fight um, in Azerbaijan? Yes, yes, yes. So no democracy. No democracy. No. Today or in in the Atropatian period. The Atropatian, there were no democracy. Yeah, of course, there wasn't democracy. Yes, today no, of course no. Uh, the women are, are not involved in the military service, but in the past, even women joined to the army to protect Azerbaijan's territorial integrity. So, the some countries are. Do. So, for example, Norway. Yes, the women are. Uh, the women usually join army to army. So, and in Israel, for example, as far as I remember, but uh, so in Azerbaijan, no. So, in the Second Karabakh War, so some uh some let's say that some women joined to the army but not fighting just uh for medical purposes yes so for the treatment of the soldiers rounded soldiers so even we uh, uh some of them sacrificed their life for the territorial integrity of azerbaijan and uh example Aras, one of one of uh, one of them uh, was actually Arasta Hanam. So uh, actually, he died in the war, but he, he left two two children. And uh, but I'm, I think that uh, he he she actually she uh, she understood that she realized that uh, in order to make Azerbaijan a better place for uh, for her children. He, she even sacrificed her life for Azerbaijan territorial integrity to make Azerbaijan's future better. Everyone actually in Second Karabakh War, uh, so uh, the, the, everyone just thought, and this is our future, so we have to liberate our territories. Everyone were ready to sacrifice their life for the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan, because it was sense of survival actually. Okay. Okay, that's all for today. So I would like to ask one question from our previous class. So do you remember uh, who was the Tomaris? Tomaris. Thomas? I don't yes. Know. From uh, our previous class. Thomas, Thomas was a messenger, ruler of Masagets. Masagets, yes. So yes, Turkish he was ruler of Masagets. Yes, Turkish tribes, yes. So you are right. And uh, and Sak tribes. Oh, Masagets, either Masagets or Sak tribes. So 
why he why he is she is very famous in the history do you remember <laughs> Is it because um she wanted she wanted to marry Cyrus? Yes, the Persian Emperor Cyrus. So actually he was one of the most powerful king of his time, but he was uh, ended he ended his life under the knife of Tomris. Tomris protected Azerbaijan territories from the Achaemenid Empire, so he even defeated so sorry, he or I usually call him. So he even defeated famous ruler, Cyrus, Cyrus the Great, uh, the Great Roman Empire. Okay, Yali, did you understand everything? Malad and Aikhan. Yes. Okay, perfect. So uh, have a nice weekend. Uh, and uh, if you have any question, you can write in Google Classroom as well. Okay, thank you very much for your uh, attention and listening carefully and learning our history. Good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.